ಮೇಲಕ್ಕೆ
plus minus. because of this egg disease. So, kaya naman na napakalaking bagay po nito, napakalaking tulong sa, sa mga Pilipinas. Anyway, without further ado, the purpose of the lesson is to help our students uh, define and identify tools you can seal and equipment needed in the egg preparation. No? So, yeah. ito yung nakatutulong para malaman natin no, ang mga ating mga mag-aaral. Ano ba yung mga ginagamit o tatagkabitin no? sa paghahanda ng ating pong uh, egg issues. Anyway, nakikita po natin dito sa larawan ito na uh, kung mapupunan natin. So, isang mapilyo at isang uh, adjustable range. Ano nga po ba ang gamit dito? Tama po ba yung paggamit na pinakita dito ng ating uh, video? So, pwede po kayong mag-comment lang dito. Uh, tama po ba ang tama po ba ang paggamit? na ayon po dito sa ating uh, imahe o video. Kaya, kung nagsasabi, tama daw, kapag walang magagamit, hindi anyway, ang sagot po rito ay maging sekyo. Siyempre, ang mapilyo ay para sa tako at ang adyas sa buong sima ay para po sa boards very good. Malakpalang po natin at yung mga sayo yung tamak ng ating video. Anyway, that is just a part of the video so now we're going to have our subject. No? Uh, because today we're going to uh, identify or define some tools and utensils as some equipment needed in the egg preparation. Okay? 
Uh, Rory Amber told us about identified tools, utensils, and equipment needed to make preparation. That was the first objective para malami natin. Kaya nang pinakita rin kami na. Kailangan pa at mag-active ang nagigil sa sabot. O kaya naman, kung sa mga ako ay kailangan pa ay rich. Siyempre, hindi ba? So, these objectives will help you no? and identify the right tool for the right one. So, that was the exact uh, uh, words no? for that uh, pictures that I've shown you earlier. Secondly, differentiate tools, you don't see any content, and the interpretation. Because ito yung pagkakaroon ba iba ng gamit, no? Ito yung kasi wala natin gagamitin yung mga utensil na yan o mga equipment so kaya siyempre sa aming tools ay naaayin ko sa kanyang tamang gamit number 3 so give it usage in a credit preparation ang mga ba ang tamang gamit ito sa paghahanda ng ating uh, edisos okay so I'm going to show you some kitchen tools here. So, um, yeah. So, the first one we have channel 9. No? This is a small hand to use generally in decorating work, such as making garnishes. Yeah, so, ito po yung uh, channel 9 na pinatawag. No? Ito yung makakapulong sa uh, pagdidekora. Ayan. Lalo lalo na po kayo po ay magagalis. Ang tawag po natin dito ay channel 9. Ito yung makakatulong sa inyo. Kapag kayo ay magdidekori ng mga mga edisyos. Okay, second. Sumunod. So, colander. So, alam alam natin itong colander na this is one of the most uh, frequently used and in our kitchen where yan this perforated bowl of various, various sizes made of stainless steel, aluminum, or plastic, which is used to drain, wash, or cook ingredients from a separated liquid ingredients. Alam na natin itong bowl of the earth. Ito, ko sa inyo, ayan. So, sometimes the bowl of the earth will be that plastic. No? But nowadays, some of their friends are plastic. Next one, we have the offset spatula. So this is a gold bladed implement that keep the hand of hot surfaces. So ito po yung ginagamit na uh, offset. Ibig sabihin, ang tawag ito ko tayo niya, ang mga pag-arrival ng offset ay yan. So it has some bandit. Huh? Where you're going to get some plot of blade here, and it has some blank uh, than the uh, on this portion. And you can have them, uh, para hindi maapek yung ang most of the top plot and you your service and then you can have them. Okay, next one. So we have the pastry brush. Yeah, alam alam naman natin ito. Yeah, alam. Pag nang gagamitin ko sa mga tiglay, mga doors, no? This is a small implement is to brush the, sar the surface of an big pastries or cookies with egg white, egg yolk, or green. So, ginagamit ito sa uh, sa mga surface no? ng mga antique pastry or cookies para ito ay mag-release or ang panagkali. After you bake it, no, magiging nakintap siya. So, ang ginagamit po dito ay a white or a yolk na para uh, maging pagkintap. Lalo na, lalo na sa mga pinapal. Okay? So, ganito po siya. Ayan. So, meron tayong color coding. Meron blue. Meron orange. Meron green. At meron naman red. So, what do you think we can use those color coding? Ang saka natin sa pwedeng ganito. Okay. 
for the one, the first one we have the uh, the rules. This one is the right to support the right to make one. Here it's for the shipper. Uh, and maybe there is still a little bit of video script for a million pieces. So, so for the para, uh, maybe sanitation, no? Para ang dalil na forty to niya. Para ang dalil sanitation na gamit na. It's a bien, ah, uh, tamang gamit, no? Sa pagagamit ng things lang. So, rubber spatula or scraper. This is a broad, flexible plastic or rubber scraper that is rectangular in shape with a curve on one side. Ayan. So, ito yung rubber spot. Ito na kalitap siya. Ayan. This one. Ayan. So, you, you can use this as a scraper, you know. Especially when you are working on an egg. You can also scrape that on your pan. You know. Or you can use it with you. Uh, meet some of your uh, cooking pieces. Okay. Uh, next one. Let's move on to the next one. Seed. No, I think it's not our natural seed, no? So probably you are, you know what kind of uh, tool is it. I mean, we're not familiar on leaves. But alam ko alam yun ito. So this is our basically a skin type mesh supported by a round metal frame using for stripping, drying regions like starch and dirt. So, ginagamit po itong pangsala. So, I'm just wondering, why do we need to uh, see if those uh, ingredients like starch and curd? Bakit ka kailangan pa natin sa lahim? No? So, we're only going to discuss uh, why do we need to see if that, okay? So, this is the seeder uh, pangsala. So, makikita natin, pinong-pinong ka, compared to the fall and red that I've shown you earlier, di ba? So, it is this first uh, sifting, no? So, sa pagpatala ng mga drying regions like flour, sugar, or anything. So, later on, we're going to discuss why it is bothering that to use this kind of equipment while we are cooking some eggs. Okay? So, let's, let's move on to the next one. Spoon. So, this is the most common on your household. No? Uh, that the solid slot and perforated, which are large stainless spoon holding about three ounces just from mixing, stirring, and serving. So this is very common unless you don't have to use this spoon. You know, it's very common to use this spoon. 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 Sarap lang tayo niyo, madali kayong mag-ibus eh. Okay? Okay, let's move on to the next one. Why we eat for this? So, this is one of the most uh, uh, important tools in the egg preparation. Wherein it is a device with groups of stainless steel wire, fastened uh, in handle. Uh, ito yung pinakaisa sa uh, pinaka-importante sa egg preparation. Bakit? So, siyempre, yan, wala nga natin sa panghali at sila, mas pagaling na kalungin, no? Pagaling na siya, you can use an index loose edge by using this value. Especially kapag tayo ay magbibig, no? Wala nga kasi paalis sa magbibig yung egg whites kapag nagawa ng icing. So, this is a highly recommended use. Kaya pa lang kasi kung pinus yung gamit yun yung wallet. You cannot stop. You cannot stop. Because babagsak yung IC na gagawa kayo na kapatay yung magkikin. Even when you go, you're going to put the egg pieces. Gagawa yung gagawa yung next in it. So, it's probably the egg or recommend that. Okay. So I have some questions to you. I'm going to answer this on your 
analysis, né? I want those to be interest which one is the most useful for you. Ano ba yung pinakamahalaga o importante ang damit sa iyo? No? Sa mga pinakita ko nga uh, uh, tools na nagbibigyan sa ambitious. Okay. Second one, kaya pangalang tanya para sulat sa inyong mga uh, activity workbook number two. Name some teaching tools that you know that is not mentioned. So, if you have some teaching tools on your teacher, na hindi ko nabanggit, no, kasi you're not, you're not going to mention everything, para uh, abutin tayo ng ilang oras dito. No, kapag uh, binanggit ko nga. So, I want you to name some teaching tools that you know which is not mentioned. So, ano-ano ba yung mga teaching tools na hindi ko nabanggit? So, you can write that probably about uh, siguro mga 10, no? 10 kitchen tools and equipment that has not been mentioned. So, talaga na yung kasabutan nyo, no? Number 3, name some important kitchen tools. Bakit ka mahalaga, no? And you're going to give some importance. So, some po rin ang bibigay nyo dito, okay? I want you to name some important of kitchen tools that is by Malaga na mayroon tayong mga kitchen tools sa pag-prefer sa ating mga kusina. Okay. So we have three questions na uh, that we're going to answer. Uh, for our higher order students, I want you to That is important that we usually do this Second, why do we need to run a new project? So, for our activity. So, I want to talk to each other and their family and their. Uh, brother, sister, and discuss uh, video body and explain a specific idea or talk about the knowledge about the tools and equipment that I have to manage so I give you five minutes for that.